Hi there. I just want to share a little something with you. Um, <clears throat> I just had this thought this morning. Um, I guess it was a little bit of an epiphany or something. Um, but I thought, I know one reason why the Jews did not accept Jesus um, when he came. Why they did not believe that he was the Messiah. And I believe that part of it is because the common man, the average uh, Jew, did not have access to the scriptures. They completely relied upon what they were taught by the rabbis. If they went to synagogue, they did hear uh, small passages of scripture read each Sabbath, but the rabbis taught in schools for the young men um, and the rabbis you know gave advice and counsel and what the rabbis taught um, they taught the original instruction from God the law of Moses but they also taught thousands and thousands and thousands of pages of man-made laws and traditions the uh, the rabbis had added on many laws and traditions, and they did it because Israel had strayed so many times that they they thought they would, you know, build these extra laws um, and kind of keep them in line so it wouldn't happen again. Um, but they added to the word of God. So basically, then the Jewish people um, were deceived because they didn't know exactly what the scripture said. They were being taught and had it pounded into their head constantly, these man-made traditions. And I thought, this is exactly what's happening now. Um, people don't read the scriptures, and the only thing is, is we have access to the scriptures. There's going to be no excuse uh, because we were deceived, because we have access to the scriptures. Um, and I know I talk a lot about how important it is to um, to research on the original language and to find out exactly what the original um, words said and what the original scriptures said. I think that there is a lot lost in uh, translation to the English, but unless we learn Hebrew or Greek, you know, that's that's what we're stuck with. But I believe that if we seek the Lord and we just we just study a little, that um, the Lord will reveal the truth to us. But statistics show that most people do not read their Bible. And this is most people who say that they are followers of Christ. They don't read their Bible. And so what's happening is that people are being deceived because they don't know the scriptures. Um, people believe certain things about uh, what is what is needed, what they have to do to get to heaven. Um, they believe certain things about uh, whatever gives them the ability to say, yes, I am a Christian, I'm a follower of Christ. And they don't even know what the Bible says about it. Uh, they believe man-made traditions. And I think that's why we see so much of the world in the church now. That's why... Um, believers don't look very much different than the world. I I can't tell you how many times I I see and if you know if you follow people on social media or you just watch if you just watch their lives, there are so many people who think that because they go to church every once in a while or because they have professed a belief in God that they're going to heaven and they don't have a clue that the way they're living is is directly against what the Bible says. The Bible is nothing but instructions from God on how we are to represent Him, how we are to live a godly life, um, how we are to follow Him and to follow Jesus. And if we are not followers of Jesus, we're not going to make it to heaven. Just saying that we are means nothing. We have to follow Him in our day-to-day -day life, and our actions, our behaviors, our words. And somehow, 
well, not somehow, but I mean, it was the devil. It's just, it's a satanic deception that people think they can live like the world, but because they're a good person and, and they're a Christian and they go to church every once in a while, that they can still get drunk, they can cuss like sailors, they can scream at their kids, they can lie to their boss, um, they can do all these things and they're, they're still uh, considered followers of Christ and they're, gonna, they're set for eternity. And that is a lie. That is a lie. All you have to do is read the Bible and you'll find out that God expects us to live different than the world. And it's not out of a sense of obligation. It's because we love him. When his spirit lives in us, we want to please him. We want to follow his instructions because we know he's smarter than we are. He understands our human nature. He knows what we have to fight against. And he knows that the best path for us to live a successful life and a full and abundant life and a life that honors him is to follow his instructions. And I don't, I just don't, I don't see it in many believers today. And, and I'm just going to be honest with you. It is, uh, it breaks my heart when I see people just going through the motions, doing the couple of little things they think they need to do to be okay. And, and they could care less about whether or not their life honors Christ. Um, it is heartbreaking to me. And so I just keep um, speaking out and speaking out and speaking out. And it's not because uh, I'm anyone special. I am as flawed as you are, um, as anyone else is. But I love the Lord and I read his word. I, it's a map. It's like uh, you have a map on how to get somewhere and um, you see other people taking the wrong path, taking the wrong road. They're going in the wrong direction. And you know that the direction they're going leads to destruction. And you just want to scream, no, you're, you're doing the wrong things. You're going the wrong way. But you know that they don't want to listen and they don't want to hear you say that. So I just keep, um, I just keep getting on Facebook or YouTube and, and I keep speaking it because maybe someday someone will listen, not to, not to the words that I say, but maybe something I say will make them decide I might need to read the book. Maybe I need to look at the instructions. I need to make sure because you guys, this is life or death. What we are doing is life or death for eternity for us. And so we need to get it right. So I encourage you to read the book. Follow the instructions. Use the map. And maybe I'll see you when we get there. I love you.